Hi, this is Michael David from Tasty Placement. I'm the author of WordPress Search Engine Optimization, now out on second edition on Pack Publishing. My agency is a Google Analytics certified partner agency and Google certified AdWords partners. And this is our race car. Okay, let's begin. We're going to set up product listing ads within the Magento system. Here are the steps we'll take and what we're going to need. We're going to use Magento, obviously. Then we're going to purchase an extension uh, through Mag Modules, which works great. Then we're going to install the extension through Magento Connect. And finally, we'll configure the extension and uh, test our work. OK, let's begin the tutorial here. We're going to take a Magento installation, and we're going to make it generate automatically an XML product feed that can then later be imported into Google Shopping. Google Shopping or Google product listing ads, it's the same thing, are these ads here. And so we've done a, a query here for Gorilla Masks and you can see like Target, Oriental Trading, Zigos, a lot of companies have products in this feed. These are, they tend to be Fairly inexpensive ads. It's long tail search. People, I don't know who's searching this except me, who's not looking for an actual mask. So the conversion rate on these ads is really good. Plus, to be honest, they're a little bit difficult to set up, which sort of weeds out most people, all right? Um, that's why Google text ads, the, just the regular search ads, are so competitive because anybody can do it. This, however, is a little more tricky. So we're going to get this set up at least on the Magento side. And so start by logging into Magento and then also Magento Connect Manager. Log into there as well. That's a separate login. We're going to be purchasing an extension and we're going to import it here. Okay. So through trial and error, I found um, this product. Okay. And I found it through Magento Connect. Uh, the MagentoCommerce.com site, where it's the big library of extensions. And the name is Google Shopping Feed. You can see others have searched for this. And it's this product here. And it's from a company called Mag Modules. The price is 30 euros. A couple of sales, though, should pay for that. And uh, through a couple iterations, it's you know, I wouldn't write this as any kind of custom script to do this. And there's a lot of plugins extensions that don't work. This one worked first time for me. I think it's a sound product. It's got good votes. It's five out of five stars with 32 reviews, one of which I think is mine. So this, this worked really well for us. So once you, you know, you can go to this page if you want to learn more about it. When you click get extension, you're going to come over to the mag module site create an account buy the product here and you'll get an email um, with your license key and a link to it to the product and you're going to download it on this page from mag modules uh, download version 1.5.5 uh, download it to your computer and then when you go back to magento connect manager you're going to just you know choose file and upload it this way okay now once you uh, install the package, you'll want to go back to your uh, Magento installation. Just log out, log back in, and also go over to System and go to uh, Cache Management. And then you want to just flush these two. It's just a good practice. It's just a weird thing about Magento that none of us can get away from. And then I also just... You probably don't need to do this, but I just have a habit of going to System, Index Management, Select All, and then just re-indexing the data. Um, I just find everything goes more smoothly if you do those two things. Clear the cache and re-index the site. And so now that your program is installed, um, and that's the Mag, Mag Modules um, product listing extension, if you go to System Configuration, where I'm sure you're used to going a lot, You'll have a new section here and it's mag modules and you'll have a google shopping link here and you click that and now we're in the final step which is configuring the extension 
This part isn't hard, but you may have to spend some time in here. Magento obviously sells a wide variety of products. You may sell really weird stuff. You may have um, your system set up a little differently than mine. But as long as you can generate a file with this extension, you can, uh, you can tweak this to the point where you can get a feed that Google will accept. And by the way, we'll do a separate video for setting up the product feed on the Google side. So right here today though, our goal for you in 15, 20 minutes from now is to have your feed working. So scroll right to the bottom here and this is how the file name is generated. And there's a generic file name here, google-shopping.xml, I left that the way it is. And you can see once you get all set up, there's my feed and it's XML and it has in stock and it has the brand name, the MPN, uh, the Google product category, um, which is a number. Um, and then it's got a product type and you know sm small description. So it's working here. So the sections you wanna focus on for configuration are uh, this ID attribute, name attribute, and description attribute, and you map these over to these fields on your site. And I've done product ID, name, and short description. That's gonna work for 90% of people. Uh, we sell new products, so the condition is new. The GTIN, we don't use that, so we got away without that because we're using a brand and our attribute in our system is called manufacturer. That was done with some customization on our site. So you, if you don't have that, you might use the GTIN. It just depends on how your store is set up. Tax customization, we forced including tax according to the rules we've set up in Magento, which is Texas only. These I've completely left alone. Price rules, identifier exists, and product type is yes. Um, the the section that I deserves mention is the shipping section, and they warn you, Mag Module says, we recommend that you configure the shipping costs at your Google Merchant, but in some cases you may want to do this. Uh, luckily, we had a really easy setup for the shipping over at um, the Google Merchant Center with the product listing ads. Um, they let you set up shipping rules over there and that is going to make your ads better because it'll say free shipping more reliably in your ads, which you're going to want. This section here, I mean, we can't configure for all potential configurations, but just know it's pretty simple to set up. You just may have to tweak it a bit. If you can get to the point where you're generating a feed, then you begin the process of uh, importing your feed into the Google Merchant Center, which then can lead you to the product listing ads. That's a separate video. That's a task in itself. But once you get to here, like you're 90% you're done. I hope this helps you all and saves you a ton of tweaking time. Um, like I did, I you know had to tweak this for you know hours and hours before I got it to work. Uh, hopefully it goes smoothly for you. As always, visit us over at tastyplacement.com and um, you know follow us on Facebook and all that. So uh, cool. Thanks for watching.